realize we actually have two variables. Uh, well, actually, I'm sorry. We're only trying to find one variable, right? We're trying to find the value of a. a is going to be the value that's going to make the function continuous. So when we're only looking for one value, one variable, without texting on our phone, we know we just need to create one equation. So I have to create an equation. And basically what I need to create is I need to say that if these are going to be connected, if they're going to be equal at the same point, right? they're continuous. So we want this graph, whatever these lines look like, we don't want them to look like this. right? Actually, let's do it at 1. We don't want it to look like this. We want them to be together at 1. You know, whatever. It's, we want it to look something like that, or whatever. I don't, they're both positive slopes, so you know, it could look something like that. Whatever. You guys get my idea, right? Now, so we need them to be equal to each other. Well, equality is very important because we've dealt a long time with equality. So if these two have to be equal to each other, then let's set them equal to each other. Now, if they're going to be equal to each other, at what value are we trying to make them equal to each other? At? Well, a is going to be the value that's going to make them equal. But what value of the graph are we trying to make them equal at? 1. Well, what does 1 represent? 1 is the x value. So therefore, we can replace x with 1. Now, do we have an equation that we can just solve for a? So 1 minus negative 1 minus 2 is negative 1 equals a times 1 is 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1. a is equal to negative 2. So we had all answers that were very, very close, but negative 2 was the winner winner chicken dinner. Okay? Good. All right, one last example, and then we're going to call it a day today.